When I first saw the bridge, I thought, climbing. It's 70 feet tall, 800 foot long span with multiple steep overhanging arches. It's a climber's dream. I've been bolting since college. Smith Rock, stuff around Portland. The Maple Bridge was unique because it's unlike any other terrain in Oregon, which is why I needed bolts unlike anything I've ever used. When I approached the city about bolting the bridge, I needed a sustainable bolting solution. We are now starting to need to replace all the classics at Smith from the 80s. Sustainable bolting is the concept of creating something that will last. My wife Darren, 2VR cat, we do everything together. Bolting the bridge is no exception. The Maple Bridge was unique because it's unlike any other terrain in Oregon, which is why I needed bolts unlike anything I've ever used. The wave bolt is specially designed for overhanging terrain. They only need to be placed once and should never need replacing. Bolt in the first arch began in July of 2015, a relentlessly pumpy 512, totally typical to the outdoor climbing I'm used to, the vertical walls of Smith Rock. For the Maple Bridge, I needed to convince the city that I was using the best product available. Proposing such a wild idea as bolting the Maple Bridge, which won an award for aesthetics, wasn't easy. I was putting my reputation on the line. These waves create a spring tension when placed. These gaps are designed to be filled with glue. The unique design is why I chose these bolts for bolting the bridge, and why the city of Redmond agreed to the project. It should last as long as the bridge lasts. Climbing is a sport that enables all of us to make responsible choices. Choosing a sustainable bolting option is definitely part of that. What we do and how we choose to do it greatly impacts the future of our sports.